Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick Saros, and uh, next to me today, I've got the Alfa Romeo 4C. That's uh, a pretty special car, I think, or maybe it's not, because quite honestly, it's gotten lost in translation. I don't think very many car enthusiasts are talking about it anymore, and I really want to understand why. So we're going to go for a drive, I'm going to give you my impressions, and uh, we'll see if this car is worth owning or not. All right, all that's coming up. We'll go for a drive right now. delivering some nice uh, nice tones. Because of this great engine I mean this four-cylinder turbo I think it's producing something like 22 pounds of boost I mean it's a lot and this car feels very eager to go um, I mean you step in it there's a slight little lag and then it just pushes you hard into your seat and that's pretty cool so it definitely has the spirit and the heart of a sports car and it wants you to enjoy the drive So this car is a lot of fun at about seven or eight tenths. If you push it farther than that, I think it kind of does some weird stuff. Like the front end does feel pretty darty. I don't know if it's just this particular car or if all four C's have that as a trade, but it doesn't build a lot of confidence in, you know, the ability as a driver to push it all the way, right? I think there's more performance in this car to be had and it's hard to get to it. So on the one hand, you know, for those people that, you know, want to look like a hero um, and are used to a lot of electronics helping them get there, this car is not for you. But for those people that want to work hard for their performance and feel rewarded, I think this could do it. So these brakes are actually pretty good in a straight line. I think uh, 60 to zero stops are right around 100 feet. I think maybe even 99. That's really, really good. But that's not because the brakes are great. That's because this car weighs very little. I mean, I think this car is well under 2,600 pounds. And in today's world, that's incredibly light. You just don't get that. Now the number one killer for any car is weight. And when you take the weight out, it enhances everything. That's why a car like this with the carbon fiber tub can have, number one, a really zippy feeling motor because it doesn't have a whole lot of weight to push. Also, it can have great brakes because there's not a lot of weight to stop. Those are things that really matter to an enthusiast. When you're going in a corner and the car feels very planted, doesn't roll a lot, that's due because of the weight. There's less weight transfer. So today we do have you know advanced suspension systems that use magnetic ride control to help balance all that out and kind of dial it out almost like a it's really a magician's trick i mean it's the weight is there but the car starts to feel like it's not but when you get into a car like this and you actually drive this fast you can tell that no 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 
the trickery is one thing, but to actually have a lightweight car is a completely different other thing. And the Italians have done a good job on this one. So, if you are planning on buying one of these cars, the first thing you're going to notice just driving around town is how sluggish this transmission feels. I believe it's a twin clutch transmission, and I gotta say, it, it's just, for the everyday stuff, especially from a complete stop to starting to go, uh, it's just a slush box. I mean, it, it just doesn't like it at all. Like, here we are, totally stopped. There we go, and then it goes. It just, it just feels like it's kinda lazy doing the everyday thing. So, something to consider. Another strange thing, um, which I can't even believe I'm about to say this, because I like cars that are, I mean, let's just face it, supercars are amazing. Um, being really low to the ground, I mean, you kind of want that, right? Until you have it. Here's the weird thing. So this car is so low that I actually find people have trouble seeing me. There's been a couple of times where I'm like changing lanes or something, and cars are just trying to merge into my lane. They don't even see me there. So. I think that has to do with the fact that it's that low. So, kind of interesting. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I guess that's a con. Hmm. So, if you like attention, <laughs> then this car uh, should be on your list because everywhere it goes, especially through town, I find that a lot of people check it out. And, you know, I mean, that's cool. Um, but I will say, I think most people don't really know what they're looking at. So I went to a gas station earlier and somebody was asking me if it has a V12 in it. Um, no, it's a four cylinder. <laughs> so, but you know, that just goes to show you that this design does strike the imagination of people, whether they're car people or not. So I think that's kind of cool. I'm gonna put that in the pro category. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty tall and I am not comfortable. I feel like I'm hunched forward because these seats just don't hold me in that well. Now mind you, most Italians aren't 6'2", right? And 230 pounds, but I am. And for me, this is, a, this is definitely a con. I want a more comfortable seating position, or at least a more supportive one. Now that being said, this is fine for short drives. But if you're gonna be driving on like a road trip or something, be prepared for some punishment. All right guys, so that's our drive in the Alfa Romeo 4C. Uh, let's recap some stuff. Suspension, um, <laughs> didn't like it. It was uh, very bouncy, uh, unpredictable. Uh, the car itself felt darty. Even at like regular driving speeds, it, it kind of keeps you on your toes, which if you really want that kind of experience, uh, go for it. I found it tired me out pretty quickly and made me want to get out of the car. So I didn't like the suspension. Um, steering. Uh, again, the steering is non-assisted, which means you got to really muscle it around when you're going slow in parking lots and stuff. But when you're going at speed, I actually think the steering was pretty good. It was really communicative and it gave me a good sense of what the car was attempting to do as my turning would happen. I could feel the, even the roll on the tires, which is pretty cool. Um, Comfort, there isn't any. We'll move on past that point. Uh, power, look, this thing's got great power. It really does. Um, that turbo, it really throws you in your seat. But the problem I have with it is, is that the way it's tuned didn't really allow for good predictability. I found like sometimes going around a corner, I could have rolled on a throttle sooner, but because I know it's just gonna dump a lot of boost, I didn't want to spin. So because of that, I think there could be some fine tuning in the, in the actual software to make the car a little bit more compliant and get all that power to the ground. That would make this car way more faster and I think it would make it way more enjoyable going fast for car enthusiasts. Um, last but not least, look at this thing. It is one of the sexiest cars I've ever seen up close and, I'm, and that's a huge compliment. I mean, I literally on the drive over here, I passed by a Ferrari, um, well, a few Ferraris to be honest. Um, and also a McLaren F1. 
and I look at those cars and then I look back at this and I actually think this car is sexier. These lines are so beautiful and unfortunately, I don't think the camera is capturing it all that well, but the way that the folds are, are going into the slits and the way the front and the back like can join, I mean, it is just orgasmic. However, looks, and, looks alone don't get the job done, right? And I think this car has just as many cons as it does pros. So for me, I don't think I'd be the, the right buyer for this car, um, but I do think that Alfa Romeo should try to make another version. I'd prefer it to be a quadrifolio version where maybe we get a stick shift, uh, better tuning, more power would be great too, um, and a lot more chassis uh, attention so that way we can get all that power to the ground. That'd be great. So Alfa Romeo, if you're listening, let me know. I'm happy to come test drive for you. Uh, all right, guys, if you like this video, uh, do me a favor and uh, hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons. Um, I will do my best to get you guys uh, more content coming up soon. And in the interim, I hope you've enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.